right, here's a look at the captain's quarters after much doing and doing and doing and doing and doing. And I got two pieces that are cut for down here, but I'm gonna wait until I get that flooring in and get, get the cord situated before I put that in there. So anyway, looks better than it did when I started, for sure, for sure. We're working with some reclaimed flooring. Got to pull the toilet and there's a bolt up underneath here and one in the back and it's gonna take a socket wrench or something to get in there. So anyways, we got the flooring down in the bedroom, which was really a pain. And I got those strips cut to fill the wall back in. I got to hide that wire up in there and then that can go on. And she all coming together, man. She all coming together. All right, so you're laying some floor, you're laying some floor, you're laying some floor, and then you gotta go around the corner. So I started with a short piece because this piece is over four feet long. So I clipped in a scrap, clipped that one in, notched it out for my, for my wall. And then I had to go back lay up to the toilet. So after I got this part established by using a paint can to get my circle, then I put the two, clipped the two pieces together, set the can over the top, traced around it, got my hole, and then clipped it together. Now I can get this last piece um, cut and figured out, and then I'll have to clip it in all at the same time. And then once that's in, then I can start moving forward again with my pattern. And it started raining again, and my rain vents work. It closes the little hoods, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, we got the bathroom laid in here. Got my last little piece notched out, cut in here. Um, I cut it to length first so it could fall flush just past his doorway just a little bit so that the next piece will clip into here. And then I, got, I tried to keep my seams out of this doorway and keep full pieces in the bathroom just because it's your wet area. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna actually caulk all these corners in just because this shower is so small that you're gonna have water on this floor and not be able to clean it up. So if it's kind of waterproof, that's gonna be better. And then I may leave this toilet out for a minute so I can do something with these walls and finish them up, make them a little nicer. So still gotta work on doing something with that. This might be a good place for FRP, so. So here we have the mystery angle coming down the hallway. So what I did was use this piece as my straight edge, butt it up against here, make that so it fits my piece that I'm gonna cut off, then I got two pieces clipped in here to keep this parallel with the floor that's in there. So that way, I'll take these out. Now I can cut that piece off <laughs> and when I shove it up in there, it'll match the same angle. And then I can cut that little notch. <clears throat> but it is not 45 and I don't know what angle it is because it's just a mystery angle. I am feeling like a reclaimed flooring superhero right now because this floor is in all the way around all the things in, and i can even cut a, a little piece there because i was just trying to use up scrap and all the pieces are in and it looks really great and how many pieces do i have left not counting the damaged ones i got one two three four four pieces left nailed it nailed it nailed it and I got a few scraps left. And then what I'm gonna do with those is back in that corner there, boop, 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 done. And then I have a, maybe a couple extras I can line the bottom of maybe this cabinet or in here, probably do this fridge space in here, right inside here, where I took the fridge out because that's kind of nasty. Nasty. And maybe stick a little lip on the front there to keep the refrigerator from sliding out because it'll be a little bit slicker but otherwise i think we're in pretty good shape get some black paint in here dress side up do a little paper and tape on the floor so i can start finishing my painting and then yay i'm gonna be doing backsplashes it's gonna be awesome 
and this place fills up with stuff really really fast it does not take long before it's like whoa there's a bunch of stuff in here so from the microwave yay so super happy about that really glad to be far enough ahead on this that i can actually have this floor in and get a better idea what this is going to look like in here once i get everything done i don't think this is going to be too bad once i get the mess cleaned up it'll really start looking sharp